Hello everyone and welcome to the Art of Teaching Art. Today I'm going to show you how to explore mark making with monoprinting. So for this you will need a roller to apply the monoprinting ink, some monoprinting ink, tape and a variety of mark making materials. It's up to you what you use but I'm just going to explore these few things. So the first step is to roll out your mono printing ink. Now my paper is a lot bigger today so this is an A4 sheet of paper so I need to make sure that I roll out the ink a little bit bigger so I'm going to add more ink on first of all. So I'm going to use my roller to roll out the ink. Let's put quite a bit of pressure on it to just spread it out evenly. Now it doesn't matter too much if this is perfect or not on this occasion because you're just exploring mark making to see what types of marks you can create with the mono printing ink. So I've rolled out my ink, I'm just going to place my paper on top and then tape it down. So the aim of this is to explore what kind of marks the materials make but also to explore different types of line and things like that. So I'm just going to start with the pen and with the pen you can get a nice crisp line so I'll just explore some different shapes of line here and then another thing with the pen is you can do some cross hatching so lines together so hatching and then crossing them over as well so it's quite nice to explore what kind of marks that makes. You can of course also work in pencil so just exploring the same with the lines that this kind of creates. So thinking about using different types of line, I have also got a thicker pencil here, which is a little bit softer to see what that does and how that kind of differs. So add a little bit of shading or using cross hatching with the pencil. So it's just good to play about with the marks that you can create. This is going to be kind of a test sheet for me. I've now got a 0.5 pen. So I'm going to work in the middle of the paper now. So I'm supporting my wrist. So try and do those same lines. see how that mark differs. You could also try with a fine liner but in my experience the lines created from a fine liner aren't quite, um, it's not quite enough pressure, you need that pressure there to create the lines. I've also got some other bits and pieces here so I've got a flat head screwdriver here I'm going to see what kind of marks that means so you can use it on its side to scratch in I wonder if you can just press in to create marks now obviously you can't see these but it might be quite nice to create kind of textural marks with this or a thicker type of line I've also got a paintbrush here so again I can press that in and see what kind of lines that creates. Probably a little bit lighter is, is a plastic paintbrush so see what you can kind of do with that. Also nice to kind of explore the texture created by your finger. Can you maybe use your nail to create some marks as well? And then I've also got this which is a lino cutting tool but it's made of wood so and it's obviously a lot larger surface so I wonder about some marks with that one as well. You can also try kind of pressing things in. See if that, maybe the end of this. So just trying a variety of different things there. I'm just going to reveal and we can have a look at the marks that we made. It's difficult now because we've obviously flipped it. So here we've got the here we've got the marks with the pen, so a really nice clean line here. 
and then with the pencils that's a little bit softer a little bit more fuzzy but still a nice line with the thicker pencil you've got these lot broader marks but you can see the area of shading looks really interesting there then we've got the bottom of this tool used to create these type of marks so again that's a really nice line actually I think if you did a whole drawing in that that would look quite interesting with the paintbrush you've got a few different marks here that you can make so again is a softer line more similar to the pencil and then I explored using the flathead screwdriver as well so I've got these marks which I really love actually those marks it really would be interesting to explore pressing different things into the ink and even these lines where I've used this looks really interesting as well again mark making with the other objects this is quite a nice broken line as well and in the centre area here, using this finer pen, again, you've got that level of detail. So if you're doing a detailed drawing with monoprinting, it might really pay for you to get a really fine-tipped pen. I think these are point are one point uh, thickness, whereas this is 0 0.5, so it's half the size. So you've got some really lovely detailed lines there. It'd be really interesting to explore that. Great idea to explore different materials. You can have a look around your house or classroom to find some different materials and I think it's a really nice way to help the students to explore different ways of mark making. Thank you so much for watching and have a really great day.